Hi guys, I'd just like to do a, a, a short video um, about the forthcoming David Bowie box. It's up here, um, that one there, Who Can I Be Now, uh, 74 Wild 76. Um, just as a preview, I'm going to be getting this box, I'm going to be getting it, I'm going to wait till the start of September before I pre-order, um, so that it comes through on the 23rd, uh, 23rd of September when it comes out. So I'll be doing an unboxing video, and then I'll probably do a reaction video afterwards, kind of a, a review if you will. Um, but I just want to do a bit of a preview now to tell you what's going to be in it, um, but also just to say some of my thoughts about what's going to be in it. Um, the main thing to say about this is the five years box, which was the previous box, um, the repressings in that box were of such a high quality that they've really set a benchmark. And I sincerely hope that all of these, these discs here that they're going to be putting in there, I really hope that they're of an equally high quality. In fact, if they're not, I'm going to be really disappointed, really disappointed. Um, so fingers crossed. Well, not fingers crossed because there's, there's no element of luck here. It's it's what needs to happen. Um, I am a bit confused by this box, I have to say. I envisaged that they would be doing kind of an, a rest of the 70s, another five year span, if you will. So this one here, look, you can see, there you go, 74 to 76. I thought they'd be doing 74 to 79, or maybe 74 to 80, which would have included um, Five, no, well, 80 would have included six studio albums, which would have been uh, Young Americans, Diamond Dogs, uh, Station to Station, then the Berlin Trilogy, with Lodger, um, in no particular order, Lodger, Low, and Heroes. And then if they'd have stopped at 79, that would have been it. So six studio albums. Gone to 80, they'd have put in Scary Monsters and whatnot. Um, but six studio albums, which is what the Five Years box had. That had six studio albums. It had a remastered, um, a remixed, re kind of imagined version of Ziggy Stardust, um, and it had two double live albums and then a rarities. Whereas this one, what they've gone for, which confuses me, is rather than doing that, doing a six albums ish with uh, a rarities, fine, um, a couple of live ones, which is great, and then um, and then maybe a, re a reimagining of one. They've gone for just the three year span. 74 to 76 um, and it feels like they're milking it a little bit if I'm honest so you can see you've got um, Young Americans, Diamond Dogs and Station to Station now they're all three cracking albums and I can't wait to hear the, re re the remastered versions of them they're not remixed, they're just remastered so the last step is just redo that's going to be amazing now the reimagined thing they're doing is this colour one here if you can see it from there which is a, a 2003 mix I think of Station to Station. Again, I'm really looking forward to hearing that. Station to Station is a quality album, and both of those Station to Station discs will sound great. Whereas in the Five Years box, you had six albums and a, remaster, and a reimagined, so seven albums really. This one, you've got three and one, so you've got four. Now, there's, a, there's only, I think there's actually more wax, the more wax in this box than there is in the Five Years box. So, what have they done to make that up? And this is where I think they've been a bit cheeky. Um, so you've got two live ones again. You've got David Live, which was actually a release um, back in the 70s. And then you've got Live at the Nassau, uh, which is, um, again, I don't know if that was ever released. I haven't got a copy of it. So you've got double disc for each of those. That one there and that one there. Fine. Um, and then they've actually remastered and remixed, reimagined, if you will, David Live onto three discs. So you've got five vinyl records for a single concert that David did in 74, 75 um, and if I'm honest that's not going to get listened to a great deal because I prefer the studio albums and I don't think I really needed two of them especially one of them being across three discs that just seems a little bit of a waste but also it just seems to be bumping up the price a little bit one thing I'm excited about as well as those two live discs the two live albums and the slightly unnecessary third one for me um, there's th this, this album that was never released called The Gaust or The Goose or however you want to say it I've never heard anybody in the, in, the, in the biz say it so I'm guessing 
uh, which is this one here, um, which is an album he recorded in 74 over in America, just before he went off to work with John Lennon and, and other people on the what turned out to be the Young Americans kind of sessions. I'm looking forward to hearing that as a piece, complete piece of art. I've got all the tracks, but I haven't got them. They're all remastered and it's got some artwork from the original concept, so that's quite nice. So you could technically say that's your fourth album with your reimagining in there as well. Um, but I'm just a little bit griped at the, at the inclusion of that remastered, remixed, three-disc live album. I'm, maybe it will. Maybe maybe it's three discs because there's it's extended and they've they've not turned the mics off after each track. It's literally just recorded absolutely everything. In which in, in which case it might be quite interesting to listen to. But for me, those three discs have bumped up the price by about thirty quid where it didn't need to be. Or they could have trimmed the fat a little bit actually, uh, and included the Berlin Trilogy. Maybe charged a bit more, but had the Berlin Trilogy in there. Which means, for me, the next box, which will be in another year, will be, you know, 70, what's this, 78, this goes up to, doesn't it? No, 76. 76, yeah. Uh, the next one will be 77, 78, 79, and probably 80. Um, which will be a very strong box. There's some very strong albums to go in there. So that's my preview. I'm going to buy it. I was a bit, when I first saw the listing, I thought, well, really? Oof. It's a lot of money. But then my wife, and this is the reason I married her, said, yeah, but you need it. You need it to sit on the on the shelf next to the other box. And you will listen to quite a lot of it, quite a lot of the time. Very true. Um, so it's, it will be pre-ordered. It will be got. I'm not going to be too critical of it because I do love Mr. Bowie. Bowie. Um, everything he does is gold as far as I'm concerned. I'm just a little bit annoyed that they seem to be dragging it out. On the recall, which is uh, on the five years box is two discs. On this one I think it looks like just a single disc. There's not a great deal of stuff I've not heard on there before. The rarities and stuff. There's a, is it Re there's a Rebel Rebel mix which is an Australian single mix I think it is or something that I've never heard. Other than that I think everything on there I've seen or listened to at some point. Anyway. Um, so that's my preview. Um, I'll link this video into my actual unboxing in a month, and I'll link into the actual review that I do eventually as well. So um, yeah, unnecessary, unnecessarily large, I think. But then we'll see when the package arrives. I'm sure I'll be equally, I'm massively excited. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.